All right, the project at hand today is to build a 12 volt full featured battery system in a box. So I've got a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery that I've put together using the Eve cells, the 280 amp hour cells. And uh, I had this old box laying around. It's a toolbox, plastic, pretty tough. So um, I'm going to cram as many components in here as I can and run them off that battery. So uh, I'll have a Victron inverter, a 12 volt, 1200 VA inverter. I'll have a solar charge controller. I'll have an AC charger of some sort. And then uh, various control items and whatnot. But we'll go over those in the shots ahead. So um, what I've done first is uh, I want to attach a mounting surface to the lid of this thing without poking any holes through it that might let the weather and the rain in. So um, I just took a couple one by twos and I cut them to 30 inches and then I drilled them out and used drywall screws to attach to the lid and I was able to use these little uh, plastic standoffs to drill into and mount the one by twos and that, that worked really well they're super sturdy and then on top of that I'm gonna screw uh, three of these one by twelves they're 17 inches long so I'll have one there and then uh, one here and one here and then I'll have uh, like some of my components mounted on there, probably the charge controller and the Victron inverter, maybe some of the small com control items. So I've got a good start on that. Um, let me show you over here what I've got for components. So uh, here's my 12 volt battery, uh, lithium iron phosphate, 280 amp hour Eve cells. So it'll be a 280 amp hour 12 volt battery. Um, right now I've got one of these battery monitors hooked up to it, just watching it, and I've got some of the components that I'd like to run off of it attached to it, and I'm kind of seeing how much power they use. Uh, one thing I have, so this basically is just a mock-up here. I'm going to make it all pretty when I get everything in the box and fit it all together well and uh, do a lot of cable management to make it work well. But um, <clears throat> this is kind of a cool thing. It's a 12-volt drock power converter so it takes 12 volt direct from the battery and <clears throat> converts it to 5 volt in a, a USB port right there so uh, I can power USB items with it uh, I have here a Raspberry Pi 4 running Victron's Raspberry Pi version of their uh, color control GX slash Venus GX software uh, it's open source, it runs on here great. I'll be able to attach four USB cables to that uh, to talk to the various Victron components like uh, VE.Direct uh, is available on the inverter and the charge controller that I've chosen. And I'll also have a battery monitor which has a VE.Direct port. So that'll take up four of the, or three of the ports there. Um, I've, I've got a USB port splitter here just so I can run more than one thing out of this little drop converter. Um, this is kind of a cool thing. It, uh, it'll it convert 48 volts native from my uh, BYD battery pack to uh, constant current, constant voltage. So, you know, I can set this to mm, 13 volts or whatever and a particular amperage to charge the battery. Um, I've got a uh, Overkill Solar BMS on the way for the battery. And then I've got a uh, little NVIDIA tablet that I'm going to use just to monitor and configure and control the system. And that'll probably be uh, mounted in some sort of pocket or something in the box so that I can take it out and uh, use it to uh, check on the status and configure items in there. I'm also going to have a small um, USB-powered... Uh, Ethernet access point, Wi-Fi access point with two Ethernet ports on it and one WAN port or a wide area network port. So two local area network ports and one WAN port 
Um, so I can connect to that with the tablet. The RPI can connect to that. And then I'll just have one, a single Ethernet cable from that uh, Wi-Fi access point and plug it into wherever I need. Or I can configure it as a repeater. So if there's a Wi-Fi signal available, but not a Ethernet cable available to plug it into, I can just uh, I can just uh, repeat the Wi-Fi signal. It also has capability to uh, uh, do USB tethering to a cell phone, so I'll probably be using that feature quite a bit. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll uh, make video updates as uh, the the project progresses. All right, take care, everybody.